Hello everyone, welcome to Mayo Programming Club. Today we will be solving another daily lead code challenge. And the challenge name is counting bits. So given an integer n, you have to return an array answer of length n plus one such that each uh, index in that array represents a number and uh, the element at each index is the number of set bits in that number so what i mean by this is for example let's for example let's say you are given n is equal to 5 then your answer array will be of length n plus 1 which is equal to 6 and so it will be like this one two three four five zero one two three four five so these indices will represent uh, the numbers and elements will represent the set bits in these numbers set bit number of set bit in the numbers oh. the number of set bits we have to calculate in each of these numbers 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 what we will do is we will be using a algorithm that will count the number of set bits in O of number of set bits time or you can say O of at max order of 32 bits time now since they are positive numbers only order of 31 what i mean by order of this 31 is we know that our integer variable of 32 bits these two are, these are 32 bits With this being the zeroth bit, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And so this can be represented in uh, at, mo at most 32 bits, each integer variable. The numbers will be ranging from zero to five. So there will not be any negative numbers. But we will how you now the question arises how you will count the set bits how to count set bits in a number. Since for each number uh, to populate this array, answer array, you can just run a single loop from zero to n plus 1 uh, 0 to n and then you can count let's call them numbers so for each uh, number uh, you can count the number of set bits and put it here for example number of set bit in 0 will be 0 1 will be 1 2 will also be 1 3, 3 will be 2 4 will be 1 and 5 will be 2. These are the number of set bits. So, this is how you will be calculating. We will ask how to count the set bits. We will use the algorithm. Called Brian. 
Runnigums. Algorithm. Runnigums. It's Runnigums. This is the name of the computer scientist who discovered this algorithm or who, whose name whose, after whose name this algorithm is named after. Uh, so what we do is let's say you are given a number 12 and you have to count the number of segments. Then this algorithm runs something like this. While well, let's call this number n, n is greater than zero. You will do the following you will set a variable bit count, which will initially be set to zero. Then, which with it, each iteration, you will increase the bit count, and the new value of n will be end of previous value of n and n minus one. Now, all the logic lies here in this particular statement, what we are doing here. So the binary representation of 12 is, binary representation of 12 is 100. Zero, zero. Binary representation of 11 is 1011. So you see, if I subtract 1 from n, uh, these two will be the binary representations. And if you end these two values, you will get 0, 0, 0, 1. And if you compare this value, this, thing, this, this is nothing but the binary representation of 8. It will be your new, num, new number for next iteration. If you compare it with 12, Twelve binary representation, which was one zero zero. So only the difference is in the last set bit. This last set bit was turned off. Similarly, you will keep continuing, and each time your last set bit will be turned off. So this turns off last set bit current value of n and updates value of n this will learn at most 32 or for the 32 times, which is pretty much constant. So, this is the Brian's Cunningham's algorithm. So, this is how you will be calculating the bit count. And then, rest is the, just a single for loop. So, order of your time complexity will be. O of n and the space used will be also O O. It will not be O of n, it will be O of 1. So let me write also time complexity will be 32 order of 32, let's say order of n plus 1 which is essentially equal to approximately equal to order of n. So 
in let's say it will be open taking 32 as the constant value phase complexity will be of one since we are not using any extra space if you explore the space used for answer array and if you include it then it will be of n so it depends upon your analysis so this is the code for each number in range 0 to n plus 1 0 to n we are counting set bits with the help of prime running Algorithm and this is Brian's Brian Perlingham's algorithm. Pardon me if I am misspelling his name. I hope it does not affect your understanding of the approach of the solution. I will also be providing a link for this algorithm. Basically, it's pretty much the same what I have told you. If you are still interested to have an article written about it, uh, to explore an article written about it, uh, I will provide a link for this particular algorithm. A link will be provided. You can explore that article and then you will be able to know. How this is going to happen. So, what will be available in C and Java both? So, thank you for watching. Thanks.